I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. You're going to sleep. This is Kogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Kazakhstan. I'm joined by Jamie Condon. Yes, we are. What's your title, full title? Professional Development Coordinator. I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Uh, yeah, we were in Kazakhstan obviously yesterday to formally announce the July 6th show, The Future Legends of Nur Sultan. Uh, featuring a whole host of Kazakh talent. Also, uh, Nordin Ubali will defend his world title. So, yeah, big time boxing coming to Kazakhstan. And David Oliver Joyce. Yeah. Defend this WBO European title. Two Olympians being on the card. Um, Nordin from Beijing and London Olympics and, and David Oliver from the Rio Olympics. But it's, it's, it's a top quality card. Um, it's a real coup for MTK and, and, and Kazakhstan to get a world title fit on the card to get Nordin to defend the WBC world title on, on the card is is massive and you know he's, he's a quality operator. I think we'll get to see it. Behind that, we're going to see the next generation of, of Kazakh t talent. Um, highly regarded amateur system, world renowned in, in what they do. The past five Val, Bar Val Barker winners of the Olympic Games, three of them have been from from Kazakhstan. So. We're, we're finally going to see this this breed of fighters coming through now in the professional game. We've, we have seen, uh, like I said, uh, not too many from the pro ranks kind of make it to the top level. There's been a few, but not that many. But a lot of their um, the history is kind of steeped around the amateur circuit, where there's so many good fighters. Um, but is is that a fair comment to make? That I mean, we talk of, we spoke about it yesterday. There was like a handful. Mm -hmm. of Kazakh fighters that have kind of gone on to win world titles and become kind of names in boxing but uh, that compared to the, the actual talent that's on the amateur scene it doesn't really kind of compare does it? No it doesn't um, I think it's because the backing in the professional game isn't the same as the amateur game mm. I was speaking to a guy yesterday and he was telling me about the, the, in Karaganda, the, the, the gyms be full, the amateur gyms be full and from no age kids get brought, it's free, free to train, there's no like, admission. They are taught from a very young age wrestling and boxing and like it's their number one sport, it's amateur system. But in professional game they don't really have a system in place, they don't have like routine fights, they don't have um, big promoters coming in and, and helping out. The main fighters who they have seem to go away abroad, like the likes of Triple G and you know, Daniel Lusinov and stuff like that there. So I think now if we put like, a system in place that we can build something here and, and grow and nurture the, the, the talent. Because a lot of the top amateurs also, because they're so highly received, so highly well looked after, they go in the government jobs as soon as they win like a, a Olympic medal or they do anything very well. Um, and they get they get well, really well looked after because they're, you know, respected in what they do and, and bringing home an Olympic medal for the country. So if now they they've given the option, not the number one, maybe the number two or number three, the, the option to become a professional world champion instead, you know, they're going to try and kick on and do that then. Mm. Um, the Barish Arena here in Kazakhstan. I'm not really sure how many holes. The venue looks spectacular. It's gorgeous. Sir. Um, and the interesting part to this yesterday that tickets available from as little as just over a dollar. So there's not really many reasons why people shouldn't turn up in the in the numbers on July the 6th. I know, insane. I think if it was in the UK, we'd still try and make a pay-per-view, wouldn't we? <laughs> no, but it's good, it's good that the emphasis is on people actually coming to watch it to fill the arena ahead of kind of the sales generated by, by the tickets. We know obviously the average wage here in Kazakhstan is obviously far, far uh, less than the likes of the UK, etc. So they just want everyone to come here. Well, that's it. Um, it's, it's good for everyone. It's trying to get everyone in. It's trying to get everyone involved. People love boxing here. So they'll, they'll, I think no matter what the real price was, they would have came. But to make it open and welcome to all is, is, is very good. And it's, it's a smart move from the coordinators and the team so 
I'm expecting there to be a full crowd. I, I think they were saying 13,000 or yeah. somewhere to us. So it, it'll be rude, it'll be loud. Um, it'll, be, it'll be exciting to see. Yeah. Uh, just a quick word from last weekend. Obviously, Billy Joe Saunders, uh, another MTK world champion. Well, back again as world champion because obviously he lost his status as world champion. But did you watch the fight between him and uh, Shifat Esufi from Stevenage? Very good. He just made it like a sparring match. Oh, sparring yeah. match. So um, he controlled everything and anything. I listened to a wee sound bait from. Uh, BT Sport put out of Ben Davison in the yeah, corner, really, that, yeah. really good, like really interesting and said and heard is uh was thinking and, and the tactics were and you know he was cautious thirst first on everything and just make sure he got the win. Which you know they don't respect too much in the game. Everyone wants to see knockouts and stuff like that, but the the art of, of hitting and not getting hit seems to be lost on a lot of people and Billy Joe's Got that through and got, got it over the lane pretty handily. Absolutely. Um, Tyson Fury was in attendance uh, at Stevenage. Obviously, him and Billy Joshua was very close. He's gone over to New York now to start camp. Uh, not in New York, but he was doing some media stuff yeah. there yesterday, I believe. But they go they over to Vegas. Rolled out the big red carpet for him just in New York, I've seen you. Yeah. Yankee Star, <laughs> Met Stadium and Magic Johnson and stuff Magic like that. Magic Johnson. Good. Obviously wearing that, that suit that <laughs> he's been wearing. For the past few times. <laughs> But it's uh, quite an eye catcher. It's not one of them ones you can actually wear once. You could actually probably, if that was a woman wearing that, she'd probably only wear it once. Throw it in the corner. Probably, yeah. probably. But um, he goes, obviously, fights in Las Vegas uh, 15th of June, so he's out in camp there now. But did you manage to watch Dominic Brazil's uh, knockout defeat to Deontay Wilder? No, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, we were travelling, I think. Um, but even at that heavyweight boxing them and me don't go along again. I'm too small for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pass a certain weight and James. Yeah, not, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't I stop looking up and my neck gets sore so I prefer to watch the, the small guys. Did you see Anui? Yes. For me he's top three pound for pound with mm. with Terence Crawford and Lomachenko. Lomachenko probably number one for me and then Anui. Mm. Um and that was more for me more exciting and more thrilling than than and the heavyweights. Yeah, uh, and interesting. Obviously, MTK have Ubali, who has the the other world title in that mix as well. And Ram Burnett, who's who's still floating around, Burn yeah. um, bantamweight and super bantamweight. So it's exciting times ahead. And uh, Anui going the top ranks seems to open doors after uh, the WBSS for Nordine and 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 Burnett to kind of throw their names in the hat and and challenge and. It, make big big fights in the lane in the in the bantamweight division mm. all right jamie condon we're about to leave to go back to the uk so i appreciate your time and we'll be Did back you here enjoy the horse horse meat in kazakhstan I, i'm going to be honest i didn't try the horse meat i thought it was delicious yeah the guy told me it makes you big and strong i'm still waiting to turn in the five mm. nine or five ten yeah. at least like and don't know about tall wise <laughs> um but yeah it should be interesting coming back here in july anyway so yeah. Brilliant. Rock on. Thank you very much and uh, we'll speak soon.